So recently I've had a trouble with keyboard and mice where my mouse is breaking because the scroll's dying and when you move it it stops running and my keyboard uh, is just having trouble where it won't respond sometimes and I'm just having general issues with everything. So it was time to bite the bullet and get a new set. While scrolling or searching around the wild web, I found the one I got here. And it's a rather interesting one. It came with a keyboard and mouse and a mouse mat included in the set as like part of this like crazy free deal they said. It looked rather interesting. So I decided, you know what, we'll just buy it and we'll have a look at it. So let's unbox this and have a see what it actually looks like and find out if it's actually any good to use. So I haven't actually opened this up yet. Um, what's actually inside is new to me. So let's, let's actually open. Okay. So there's the mouse mat. Mm, okay. Cheap, basic mouse mat. That's fine. I have my decent ones, like my razor ones. I'll just give this to someone else. What we're actually here for is the keyboard and the mouse. So, we'll start with the keyboard. Let's first get all the plasticky crap off and... Okay, first thing I've noticed, it's metal. Like, all the framework around the outside is all metal. I don't know, it's kind of, it's, it's weird. Like it's got a holder here, which is designed for your phone. I know that. And then there's whatever the hell this holder is for here. I guess for a cable to go through or something. There's this here, which is where the lights are for like caps lock and everything. But the keys are very, it's weird. I like it, but it's a weird design. Hmm, different. We'll plug it in in a minute as you have a look at how it actually looks. Before we do that though, we will have a look at the mouse. So again, just basic plastic and boxing. But actually, okay, this is very plasticky. Nice feeling clicks though, but both of them are braided cables. They don't look that bad actually so for the price I paid which was like 15 pounds you've actually got a really good deal here especially on just how everything actually feels so metal mouse plastic -y metal keyboard um, keyboard as well let's plug them in and see how they actually look so first things first we have is the keyboard I want to plug in uh, I'm gonna do it all through a front IO so that means that I can actually see how it looks at the same time as we recording, plugging it in, because doing the back IO is a bit weird. So, let's plug this in, and boom. Ooh, so we have orange. And Windows recognizes it as just mechanical keyboard, which is different, but that's not a bad color orange. Like, let's get the feet out, at least. And very metal, as you can see, it's not. It's got it's a weird company name. It's some like Chinese company or something. I could, don't actually know the name of it. All the instruction manuals come in Chinese, so I can't actually give an opinion of what the company's like. But the keyboard itself, really easy to read, and I don't know. I just hope something like. It's actually quite a nice feel to the touch. There's nothing noticeably wrong with how it feels. It's mechanical, but it's quiet. I don't know if it's using, I don't know what switch it's using, but I don't know if I can get one off. It's not using any like proper 
it doesn't seem to be using any like it's just cheap switches. It's no like actual special switch. So that's a bit of. I didn't don't know what I really expected actually. So we'll move you to the side slightly, and then we have the mouse. Now I'm hoping that if the mouse has any color on it, they've made it the same color since it's part of the same set. If they didn't, that would be a shame, but we can cope with that. Seeing as everything else is the same colours, like even the cabling. Um, and the answer is... is green. Windows registers it as just gaming mouse. There's a little switch on the bottom here. It says, it says on or off. It's green and it flashes on. Or it's red because of the lighting like the sensor here is making it shine through. But we have, again, a weird company name that you can't really read. But we have back and forth buttons on the side, a very nice feeling scroll wheel, and a DPI button, like most have there. I think instead of the website that they was like, you were able to um, change the color and change the DPI like m m manual settings through their software, if I want to, I can install their software and do that. But I think I'm going to leave it with the color turned off. But it is a really nice feeling mouse, even on table. I've got mouse mode here. But yeah, it's a really, really nice feeling mouse. So all in all, in my opinion, quite a metal keyboard, everything and that. They're actually a really, really good bargain. You get a mouse as well, the mouse mat as well. And for the whole lot, it was £27 for the whole lot. So not actually that bad. A pretty good bargain for seeing as... A, if you get, say if you go Razer, that's the price of one mouse. Whereas this, you got a mouse, mouse, a mouse mat, and a keyboard. So can't really complain. Anyway, that's my look at of my new keyboard and everything. And kind of an opinion and review. I would recommend it. I'll put the link to it in the description. People can have a look at it if they want, if you want to. Maybe if you get it yourself, because... Design-wise, price-wise, you can't really go wrong. It's a sturdy machine. I'm going to obviously test it for a while and play some loads of games on it and then we'll find out if it holds up to its reputation. But, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.